Hello everyone and welcome to the Ross Method channel. It's Pepita Ross, musician, researcher and sound therapist. What are the main features of the Ross Method and how it differs from the other learning theories? Well, firstly, the musical areas are subdivided into eight main disciplines in order to get more effective in each specific area. They are instrumental technique, rhythm development, memorization, sight reading, body relaxation, oral training, improvisation, and perceptual channels linked to the memory systems. Improvisation is not intended to be addressed only to the jazz or pop player. It is addressed also to all the musicians who want to develop a setup on a possible future. It was what Karl Heinz Stockhausen tried to develop with the term of intuitive music as a form of instant creation. Even the perceptual channels linked to the memory systems are extremely important. They are the switch that turns on the whole performance system. Many times we are not fully aware of the perceptual channels we are using. I will show you with an example. Okay, let's try to play this simple rhythm exercise with me. We had to repeat for seven times pa pa da pa pa. Okay? Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Pa pa da pa 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 Okay, how did you count your internal rhythm? Someone might have said, I felt a voice or a sound repeating the numbers going forth. Another one might have said, I saw the numbers as if they were designed on a screen. And another one might have said, oh, I felt like an impulse. I don't know how, but I knew I was on the right way. Let's do another example. Now you try to read the words that you see on this chart and we will do it together, okay? Ready? Three, two, one. Yellow, blue, orange, black, red, green, purple, yellow, red, orange, green, black, blue, red, purple, green, blue, orange. Okay, now we try to read the colors of each word. I will begin with you, then I will leave you alone. Okay, let's go. Three, two, one. Green, red, blue. Did you see, this time it was more difficult because the visual area and the color recognition were in conflict with each other. One of the main goals of the Rose Method is to learn how to reinforce these three perceptual channels in the most effective way. Remember the quote, neurons that fight together, wire together, we have to learn how to maximize our potential by forging new connections, and we can reach this goal with the aid of cognitive neuroscience development and with the aid of special core charts that I will explain in the next videos. Thank you for watching, see you soon.